Hi everyone, I'm Cindy from the MFRC Mental Health and Wellness team. Today we're going to talk a little bit about stress. Stress is something that we all experience. We usually think of it as a bad thing, but some forms and amounts of stress can actually be good for us. Stress is a state of emotional or mental tension that occurs under demanding circumstances or challenges. It can trigger fear, worry, and anxiety. And high levels of stress can make it harder for us to manage other emotions. In the long term, it can have a negative impact on our physical health, leading to things like burnout, diabetes, and high blood pressure. Experiencing shorter, more manageable bursts of stress can actually boost our immune systems and enhance our resilience. The symptoms that we experience with stressful situations are like warning signs, telling us that there's something that's going on that's important for us. Facing these challenges and uncomfortable feelings is healthy, and it can actually help us adapt to changes and create positive outcomes. So, how can we manage our stress? One way of managing our stress is to identify our stressors and connect with it. A stressor is any problem, experience, or situation that makes us feel threatened or overwhelmed. When we know what is stressing us out, we want to explore it to figure out why it matters to us. That can look something like this. Our situation is being posted to a new city where I don't know anyone. I'm going to ask myself, is this situation something that was a surprise to me? What do I need to do in order to prepare for this change? And I'm going to try to figure out how it ties to something meaningful. Well, this is the next step for my partner's career, and I'm going to be able to explore another part of Canada. And then I ask myself, how does this make me like other people? Well, anyone in my shoes would feel stressed out about this. Moving across the country, finding new friends, those are challenging things, but I know that I'm resilient. Asking yourself how experiencing this stress makes you like other people helps bring in the idea of common humanity. If something is stressing you out, likely other people would feel stressed in your shoes too. Practice self-compassion to help manage stress. Remind yourself that stress is a natural part of life and that you're going to get through this. Two other ways of managing stress are problem-focused coping and emotion-focused coping. When we have control in a situation, we can use problem-focused coping. This involves figuring out which pieces we can control and how we can use that to make the situation better for ourselves. This includes methods like time management, analyzing the situation, or working extra hours. Essentially, we need to be intentional about what we can and cannot accomplish. And we need to create a plan for how we are going to resolve the problem. Working extra hours is only a short-term solution. If long hours become a routine, this routine may be the problem itself. Finally, emotion-focused coping. Emotion-focused coping involves controlling your response to a stressor. You can't always control your situation, but you can control how you respond. Changing your response can limit the negative impact of the situation. Seek out social support from your family and friends. Using meditation or prayer can also help calm symptoms of stress for many people. Writing or journaling can also provide comfort. Keeping a gratitude diary can greatly help improve our mood and create a more positive mindset. If you've tried various methods to manage your stress and you still feel stuck, it may be helpful to seek out a therapist. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need support managing stress or any other mental health or wellness topics, please reach out. We'd love to hear from you.